Today I am going to be showcasing Chandra. She is one of my favorite spell slingers in the game. The reason she doesn't show up more on my channel is because I feel like a lot of people find her boring. And she's also the first spell slinger you get, so a lot of people want to gravitate away from her, which makes perfect sense. You know, you want to play the stuff that you don't have. And a lot of people think that the first one that you get in a game is kind of like a throwaway. So I get it, but I think she's always been extremely underrated. Uh, people have always put Domery higher than her, and I just, I don't agree that that's necessarily the case. So with that being said, I'm just going to get into it. Um, so the land active volcano starting on turn 6, there's a chance this erupts and spits fire instead of getting a mana gem. Spits fire, deal 3 damage randomly split among enemies. So what happens is you can set up boards where your opponent has uh, one toughness left on their creatures. So that way the active volcano can pick them off and then they don't have those blockers and then you deal more uh, damage to their face or it's going to deal damage to their face you know just directly so um, you can set up uh, knowing that on starting on turn six this has a chance to go off you can set up boards uh, in anticipation of this going off and it'll win you a lot of games uh, pouncing lemur one drop three two it can't block it's aggressively statted we don't care it can't block we just want to kill the opponent uh, raging goblin one drop two one haste just a little poker a little bit of reach. Overgrown Iguana, 2 drop, 4 2 with trample. So uh, even if you just swing with this one time, let's say it trades with something with like 2 defense, you're still getting 2 to the face. Super worth it. Uh, every single point matters in this deck. Uh, 2 drop, 2 2, debut, give a friendly creature plus 2 0. So it's more reach on your haste creatures, uh, lets you trade uh, favorably, um, or just any a trade that you normally wouldn't be, have access to otherwise. So um, this is really strong, and uh, just kind of you can also like diversify your threats with uh, Sword Cannon here. Uh, Goblin Short Cutter two drop uh, two three debut. Give an enemy creature can't block this turn. So um, if your opponent goes tall on one turn, like let's say you're playing against Ashiok, and let's say on turn four they play Stag, uh, you know the, the four drop four five. You play Goblin Short Cutter, and then all of a sudden you're getting in like three to five six damage that um, you know you wouldn't have gotten. So if they try and go tall on you, then it's just devastating. If you combine it with uh, your haste creatures, it's just it's really nasty. It's a really nice combat trick. Uh, Colonian Tusker, 2 drop, 4, 3, it's just a stat stick. We don't have traditional ways of removing, uh, of gaining card advantage. So what we want to do is um, have our creatures trade multiple times, and that's basically our form of card advantage. So a 2 drop, 4, 3 accomplishes exactly that. Uh, giant Growth. Two drop trap before friendly creature fights, give it plus three, plus three. So this is reach. This is um, pseudo removal because you're basically uh, throwing your creature into the fight knowing it's going to survive. And then um, it's just something that is going to take even more away from the opponent to answer. So uh, giant growth is just super strong. Uh, Ball lightning, one of the best cards in the deck. Three drop, six one, trample haste. Destroy this at the end of your turn. So it doesn't that part doesn't matter. Um, it's just a 6-1 Trample Haster on 3. You combine that with something like Short Cutter if they have like one creature and now they're taking 8 damage. So it's just, uh, th you'll win so many games off of playing this card. Blitzing Minotaur 3 drop 3-3 three, three, with Haste, pretty self-explanatory. Chandra's Firecrafter is one of the only actual cards in the deck that generate actual card advantage debut at a random red spell or trap that deals damage to your opponent. So if you get Shock, if you get Lava Axe, if you get Flame Shots, Stuff like that, um, really, really nasty. Uh, even, even uh, it can give you cards that are like deal one damage to something and can't block this turn. So, just a really strong uh, utility card. Flame shot, deal three damage to an enemy and one damage to each other enemy. Enemy includes face, so you can do three to their face, one to all their creatures, three to one of their creatures, and then then one to everything else, including their face. So again, with uh, the land and the flame shot you're setting up boards to where you know that either one can pick off stuff and then you can get more damage through so you need to be conscientious the entire game of how to set up boards to get the most out of those two the land and the flame shot and that will alone increase your win percentage drastically vicious mongrel four drop four five haste just beefy boy stats he gets in there he gets the job done lava axe five cost deal five damage to your opponent You'll win, I don't even know how many games you'll win with this. Um, it feels really dirty, feels really cheap. Because basically, uh, between Lava Axe and Chandra's ability to deal 4 to them at the beginning of the duel, uh, that's they are basically start with 9 less health. So Lava Axe will just get you there. And also, there'll be points where maybe 
they've uh, they made a board big enough to where like you know you're not gonna break through anymore. That's when you just lob axe them and finish the game that way. Hell Rider, five drop four three haste attack, deal one damage to your opponent for each attacker. So if you have a if you still have a board presence, it's like a mini lava axe, and um, you know going straight to the face is just exactly what we want to be doing. If they've made a board that is uh, that you basically you know you're not going to break, you can just build your board and then swing uh, later on and get that face damage in. So sometimes it's correct not to just to continue swinging if this is in your hand, or if you have a higher chance of drawing it. Let's say it's like mid late game, late game. And the match is still going on and you haven't seen one yet you can just not attack knowing that you have a high likelihood of drawing the hell rider then we have the fire spout elemental five drop six six haste at the start of your turn deal two damage to yourself this does not matter um your opponent has to answer this and um whenever they answer this they're generally not answering it by adding to the board so you're already uh, much faster tempo wise so you drop this and then they have to spend like their whole turn using like a foul using a shell game uh, whatever it is so then you just continue going face and if they don't answer it they're gonna die so um, this is gonna get you know if it's not just a straight removal spell it's gonna get like two to three cards out of them and it's just a ton of pressure especially if you've chained it before with you know this haste creature this highly statted creature it just is like the Kind of like the epitome of what this deck's trying to do. This entire deck only has Ball Lightning and Hell Rider as the epics. So if you're new to the game and you want a ladder quickly because the games with this are short, this is a fantastic deck, and it's a fantastic deck even if that's not the case. So it's cheap, it's powerful, it's fun, and um, it'll get the job done. So thank you guys for uh, watching, and uh, let's get into it. <laughs> All right, so this is exactly what I wanted to showcase. I wanted to showcase Ashia getting destroyed by Chandra, who I feel has been underrated since this game came out. All right, hopefully that fixed it. Um, so one, two, three, and elemental. Yeah, keeping that all day. All right, let's see if it actually works now. Just waiting on them to do whatever the heck they're going to do. I mean, I know you have 30 seconds to mulligan, but this is uh this is very interesting. Do do do. Did my game freeze? Is that what's happening? Oh, it's not reading me my own deck, so... Oh, I think my game froze. One second. Well, apparently my game froze, so I had to go back out and in. So I'm probably gonna lose now, because I lost the entire advantage of playing Chandra. So, it was supposed to be this, followed by this, Followed by this, followed by this boy. So, not looking good. Um, I guess I'll try and win it anyway. And I'm already recording, so I might as well just try and make it work. Okay, so they stole a, something they can't block from me, which is good. Um, that's unfortunate. That's just going to trade here. Um, okay, so let's, uh, let's go... Uh, Firecrafter and just see if I get a useful... It is useful. Okay, so... I'm gonna attack. I'm actually not gonna play anything. I really wanna slam this down. And, um... Maybe the shot can pick up something later. That's so unfortunate that the game decided to freeze. Um, this is like... The perfect matchup for Chandra. Potential. That'd be really nice if they passed after this. I will not block this with Firecrafter. Mm. 
Uh, man, this is unfortunate. Now I will block it, right? It burns. I might even Hellrider. No, no, original plan's better. Alright, so their 1-1 one, one goes away. I mean, look at it like this. Like, this is going to do 2 damage to me, but they're familiar if it existed. would still do 1 anyway, so I'm taking 1 more damage to have this giant thing out. And, um... I don't know, I mean, I could even block this, finally. Can you keep a secret? I probably won't, though. I'll probably go Tusker, Lemur, Shock It, Swing. Oh, you know what? I can block this now and shock this and take 3 less damage. That's what I'll do. If he wants to drain blood this, I'm cool with that too. Okay, that's fine. Okay. How do I want to do this? I think I actually want to do it like this. He can block and then waste something to finish this off. No, what? And then eventually I'll have enough mana to like rebuild my entire board, and then you know his life will almost disappear in one turn. If he plays just like some you know pissant creature, then I'm gonna Hell Rider and shock, and he's gonna take ten. He is only at 5. Okay, that's a little too big. Hey, if I get uh, one hit there, I can still shock it. Yep, that's why that land is insane with Chandra. Okay, so... Shock. I'm at 4. Man, I really want a ball lightning right now. That's 10, 11, 12. Yeah. I had to take that opportunity while I had it. If my land hits him for two more to face and I draw a lava axe, that is also game. Um, I'm expecting infest. Yeah. Five. If I had one more mana, my entire hand would be so much better. I just gotta build a board that's gonna be three damage if this just gets an attack off. And if he blocks one of these with a 5-5 sneak, my land can ping it off for one. I think if uh, I didn't miss my first uh, turn or two, he was just super dead. With no chance. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, you see how favorable this matchup is, guys. Even if, uh, even if I'm not here for the beginning of it, which is where Chandra capitalizes, right? Like she's she gets under. Yeah. Um, it's still possible because I could still draw like a bunch of nightmares, right? Um, and they could heal out of it. But I'm hoping this pretty much like oh uh, triggers some and counters counteracts some of the nightmares. There we go. 
All right, that's basically like they went to face. And there's no way it's this many nightmares, so yeah, they're just super dead. And I'm just gonna show them how dead they are. Yeah, so... I really hope that demonstrates that uh, really well to you guys. Um, that was... That was brutal, and uh, definitely not the way you want to start it, right? So I realized that I hadn't put in the premium copies of the cards I'd made premium, and so I just decided to make all the comments premium, because Chandra deserves that much respect. Maybe the premiums will give me power. This is this is a difficult matchup. Um. I'm gonna put back a short cutter, try and get something a little bit beefier. That's kind of what I meant. Me and Make your vow. Uh, especially with packed with uh, getting some life back. Yeah, and they have Quasit, and they're gonna have Sign of the Ill Omen. This is definitely a bad matchup. Okay, we luckily do have a one drop. Now it's most likely gonna trade into anything that they play here. So if they play like Scorpion or. Um, yeah, that guy. At least you're not going to get two draws off of it. Yeah, they were thinking about not blocking to be greedy. Um, I'm going to go Tusker just because it has a better chance of surviving against other things with two power. Though it could be something like Bone Shambler, which is going to trade into this anyway. Okay, cool. See, these don't trade. Attack. This one looks beautiful. Yeah, it looks sick. If he fatal infections one of these, then you know he's only got two mana left for the turn. Um, I really hope I top deck anything to play. Like I drew the entire top end of my list, which is very unfortunate. I really need to top deck anything to play, or I think I just lose the game, like for certain. Do do do. Yeah. Ah, that was like. Almost the ideal card to draw, if not the ideal card to draw. And the next three turns are just gonna be haste slams, right? Now he could foul this, which I'm kind of expecting. And then he's gonna regret that because I have Fire Spout Elemental. Okay, no, it's even worse for him. Yeah. My little wubby wubby. All right. Man, the embers look really cool. I wish I would have made that premium a long time ago. Okay, so this is. Um, I thought Soul the Wood was gonna block the mongrel. And then at least he'd be susceptible to drain blood or infest, but that's not how he blocked. So I don't know. Not sure. Um, next turn is gonna be Hell Rider and Lemur, and he's gonna take at least three just from the attacks. Um, he can't play something. I guess he could have played something in grotesque. Okay, well that's good for me. Um. I think this is just too much damage to pass up. So he can just decide whichever one he wants to, to die, which I'm assuming is Elemental or uh, Hell Rider. Um, either way is not that bad for me. And then I still have Lemur to play, so I'm curving out extremely well. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know if I would have picked that one or Hell Rider, because. Um, now, if he doesn't remove something, it's three to the face directly, and then Lava Axe kills him. So, we'll see. Pay the price. Okay. Four mana left. 
But yeah, let's game. Cool, cool, cool. Um. doesn't really matter how I do it right so that's you saw in this game how all these big haste creatures just really um, how powerful they are right like mongrel elemental hell rider uh, ball lightning they're all just so powerful and I'm telling you Chandra Chandra's been underrated this entire game everyone's like Domri so much better Domri so much better I'm just not sure that's the case Nissa. Okay, so if this is OTK, it could be really difficult because um, they just run so many creatures to get in the way, and the land heals itself, so heals them. So I don't know. It's um, yeah. This is the OTK version. It's got the OTK land. Um, this is kind of a nice hand. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I need Cannoneer. I want something a little bit more beefy. I will defeat you in combat, Chandra. Nissa, are you being competitive? All right. I'm hoping they just pass turn one. Okay, that's sort of like what I wanted. I'm not gonna use the Mana Gem immediately. Wow, that's sick too. Maybe Cannoneer wouldn't have been terrible, right? Either giving up the bird or, yeah, taking two more. I still think that death sound sounds like a Star Wars laser. Oh, come on. He's got to drop both the 3 4 booties. I do have elemental into elemental. So, that's something. Ooh, that's a really low tempo play. Very low tempo. There's a lot of draw power, though. Do I just swing with everything? I think I do. If he wants to try and be greedy, I think he's going to die. He wants to be greedy. Interesting. That tells me he wants to play more ramp cards next turn, or wants them around just for, I guess, the proc off a of shrine to draw twice, but... Um, yeah, he's at 12, right? And I'm bringing the pain next turn. It depends what he plays. Each living thing brings its own wisdom. Alright. There's the Lava Axe to try and punish this, this line he's chosen. So if he goes here, then he keeps this around, and then these two block these two because they have to. If I swing these two, then nothing on my board dies. I think I think it's just proper to do this. If my land goes off and takes out one of those three twos as well, then if I must. that's oh. excellent. If I must. Man, this guy just oh. keeping all the cards for the greed. I mean, I have a short cutter as well, so if he tries to play like a something big in my way... Okay, that makes sense. Alright, a haste creature off the top is what I need. Okay, so we're gonna short cutter. Six. Lemur. Okay, so if my land goes off before he heals and hits him in the face, then Lava Axe takes it. I mean, I couldn't afford to play conservatively there because he has such a thick board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I was gonna say Flame Shot. Yeah. As long as the land doesn't go off and heals him for what, six? Or was it four? Yeah, four? Then I'm okay. 
field. So I just need the you land not to trigger. Oh, I have two lava axes now. So as long as they don't heal, I win. You have my attention. <laughs> I am nothing. Ah, uh, that's not unfortunate. Fair. So they're not <clears throat> holding on to the combo. Which makes sense, and I can't deal 10 to them. Wow, if they hadn't drawn this, then I just won. So like I said, as long as they didn't heal, right? Wow, that stinks. If they didn't heal or um, had that one turn later. Man, that's unfortunate. How many cards left in their deck? 15. Okay, so they saw half their deck. So, I mean, it's not, it's not too bad. Well met. Yeah, GG. Not too mad about that. I'll let him finish me off. I'll let him have the glory. I was really close. <laughs> Join me for you gotta use the combo. I use the hasten anyway. I'll take that. Ooh, Gideon. Okay. Um, Gideon in the first season was a little difficult for Chandra, but I don't know if that's just because I didn't... Um, like, flush out the deck yet, right? Those armor creatures are a pain in the butt. Um, so, yeah, let's not start my aggro deck on turn three. That'd be pretty bad. Alright, I'll take this. How big is this dude's ear? Jesus. What do you fight for? Yeah, with the Paladin cards, I don't think I win this matchup anymore. Because they're going to get, you know, uh, more early creatures guaranteed. Not that they already don't have a bunch of early creatures, but an increase in defense is a problem. And then having the Divine Smite, which is a guaranteed removal spell, is uh, back, pretty scary. Everyone. Do I believe this? I don't know if I believe this. I don't know. If he has it, then I'm kind of dead, so... I guess I'll just swing for two. Run! Hmm. Alright, now just play something for two so I know you don't have any shenanigans. Of course, he's gonna have to leave me wondering again. Alright, let's, let's find out. Okay. My turn, cool. That's kind of funny. <laughs> if we all trade, that's cool. It means Gideon's not coming to punch me in the face. He did have a shields up. He did have a shields up. He just didn't use it. He didn't arm it. That's wild. Yeah, that's that alone almost seals the deal. We fight as one. Okay, this seems kind of goofy. Um, taking eight. Yikes! Just like we practiced. I want the flame shot now. I just couldn't keep it before. Yeah, let's go. Boom. Are y'all gonna trade? Okay. I'd rather keep the blocker. It's cool with me. 
How funny would it be to play like Crusher Worms and Chandra? Let's gear up. They just like never know what's happening. I think that'd be really funny. Well, it's obviously the big boy. I think I just swing big boy. I don't want to give him this trade. And he's still going to block here, right? Well, bro. Yeah, and that Divine Smite that he probably has by now um, is never, like, taking this out until he has a bunch of creatures. If he swings with just the 2-3, I'll probably just take it. Okay, he runs Smite the Monstrous. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. The best defense is my defense. Um, I'll take two. The, um... My land could take out the uh, armor. There we go. Speak of the devil. Yeah, hey, I mean, I'll take that. At least trade now. Hmm. Um, yeah. See, this is interesting. Now we're both kind of like running low on stuffs, right? I'm gonna split the stats. Oh, training yard! Come on. I swear, every time my opponents are low, their their um their land start proccing to help them out. <sighs> now he's gonna play two to three creatures, and um, this dies to everything. Yeah, see, this is the armor creature I was telling you about that I'm just gonna lose to. What? Like two armor creatures. One's a flyer that I'm never gonna be able to kill. This is this is just bad. Forward. I hunger. Huh. This thing becoming a two four with armor is nasty. Just swinging with that, eh? Take heart, be strong. I see. Well, I think that is definitely a wrap. There's no sequence of cards I can draw that's gonna matter here. That is a concede. Ooh, another Vraska. I don't know if we can get lucky. Twice, but we'll see. Varg. Even the mongrel, because it's well statted. One drop would have been nice, but you know, this is fine. Two, two, four. Despair. Make your vow. Tusker, Tusker, Mongrel is a lot of stats. Hmm. So I'm gonna play this because. Um, defense is weaker here and they're going to trade anyway. I don't want to give up a Tusker for this thing. Um, I'm not letting it get plus uh, two on something. So, we're going to pass. It's yours to command. Goodness. I redecorated. Do you like it? He's not going to use it, right? There's no way he uses it. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't think so. I 
mean, I could clear the board like this. We'll go right through. So I guess I will. It's better than being like super passive, I think. Yeah, and unfortunately somebody's gonna get plus one. Plus one, but hey. <clears throat> Next turn, if he summons something decently sized, I might just double Tusker. Nope. Mongrel. See how he wants to handle that. That's what I thought. Next turn can be Ball Lightning and Tusker, or Ball Lightning and uh, Short Cutter, which is really nasty. I've always thought this combo was pretty insane. Um, Is he just going to pass after that, or is he going to throw in the Scorpion? Get two Fatal Infections. I could see it. Yep. Not surprised. If he doesn't play anything and I shortcut her ball lightning, that's gonna be insane. You don't die in Death is a part of life. He's gonna fatal infection this thing and then pass, I think. Ooh. Okay. That's a little too juicy to pass up, even though I'm losing my board. What's he gonna play for five? Hmm. That makes sense. Pay the price. I really hoping he wouldn't have something else there. Okay, so... We're setting up for Hellrider and um, Lava Axe to kill him. We still one turn away from Bowling Behemoth if he runs it. Um, Stag would hurt big time right here. So one for one, but... I don't know, maybe he fouls, maybe he turned to stones one of the Tuskers. That hurts too. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure if we can win this game. Okay, that's what I thought. And he's not gonna attack, he's just gonna pass now. Yeah. Oh, please get rid of a blocker. Okay, yeah. Smashy, smashy. Let's go. Is that one? Is that right? That's if he gives up the bone shambler for the four two with trample. Oh wait, no, he's dead. Strike now. Right? Ugh. Like he blocks the blocks here, blocks here. Yeah, even if this blocks this, this is eight. Yeah, he's dead. I just in my mind this was like already dead. <laughs> wow. That's wild. Cool. I'll take that. Alright, I think that'll be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you tomorrow.